Hello, welcome to my busy desktop. Okay, this is actually what I wanted to show you all. It's interactive scheduling software called Trello that uh, Tom has uh, put us all onto. I was looking at something similar called Zoho, but um, this, this seems to be working very well, and I wanted just to go through through it for those that aren't really um, engaging in it yet but just to get an idea of uh, how it is how it looks and how it works so here we've got the to do section these tabs next to the right we've got doing this is the things that are actually being done at the moment active and then done so the tasks that have actually been completed um, of course the to do list is uh, a long list but we can scroll down and see all of those to do elements and more importantly uh, those people that have been assigned by the team to work on those tasks of course we've got here hold on a minute I'm just gonna go out and get an ice cream I'm only joking <laughs> we've got here create a list of content to be uploaded and LK so that's Leanne Craft, who's responsible for that. Um, SW, and then Tom's uh, picture there. Um, and then, so, so you can move across, and then you can see here, say for produ uh, produce graphical assets, the uh, work responsibility of um, Sam Windsor and Brad Pinhorn. And you can see here, there's a little speech mark on five. Comments that's indicating five comments. So a left click will take us then into the whole uh, sort of the sub conversation around that task. So um, it says here Tom's a guy that actually added this task. Um, he's next put up the information, specific information about the size of text that's required in pixels, very precise. You could relate this back to that unit about. Um, exchanging complex technical information at work type of thing. He's put in the size needed for the social media icons, obviously very small, 25 pixel by 25 pixel, and also the need for some kind of subtle background image. Um, and he's added Sam and Brad to that. So he's the person that's actually created this task and assigned the personnel to work on it. Um, then above here is some, just some of my comments. Um, about how those images might might look uh, going right to the top nothing no feedback from the other two guys yet so that that's not entirely successful it would be good if they had communicated and come into it but I've no doubt that they will um, uh, okay here's another subject here get web hosting this was my task actually going back to the page uh, where is it where is it where am I Anyway, sorry, that should have started off, get web hosting, should have started off on the to-do page. Um, but here I am, that's my icon, the, um, the, tower of, the Tower of Bridge, sorry. And let's look at the comments associated with this. And here I am communicating to everybody that, yes, we're almost there. This was, I think, on Tuesday, and I've included the email conversations I've had with uh, DV8, Debbie in particular, um, about the spec of the package that I suggested we should get. This was also in collaboration with Tom early back of last week, um, looking at the type of bandwidth we might need and, and storage facilities and whether we would need a virtual as a host provider or, or a shared. Um, so there you go. And then I have updated it and said... Uh, this was today, which is Wednesday, that Yes Deb is about to purchase this L package. See below the details. So anyone could come in and get the details on that specific web package that um, we were getting. And so it sits there at the moment. It can't go into done because I've not yet got feedback from Debbie to say that yes, they've actually deviated have actually purchased it, but it's um sort of there and pending. Um Tom here has indicated that he's 
actually worked on the call to action. I, I, I said to him, I think, by email, that we need a really good call to action here. That's after all what every website is about. We're trying to drive um, via the content people to actually do something which is to you know to record their details with DV8 get them on the database get them available for um, a soft uh, slow feed of, of emails so this click start now to start sharing receive updates on our cool new free course offers that's what I suggested um, yep yeah, fair enough that looks good um, so Tom's included that and he's, he's also in, said a little bit detail that this piece here is only viewable if the user is not logged in i.e. if they don't have an account so in other words anyone that's got an account won't need well only, you'll only see that once really quite a good idea because then you won't block the page up with unnecessary information so that's another task look into call to action for home page anyway so moving across to done let's see what Tom here has been exemplary, he's worked a lot, He's uh, let's go from the bottom, logo has been fixed, we always had this problem, I don't know if you recall, but the logo, even though we gave it 100% width uh, attribute, it kept, um, it didn't entirely resize, so uh, he's actually done that and he's now able to put that task into the done section. Um, so look at this one right up text that's got two comments associated with it yeah we decided we maybe wouldn't put any welcome text on the front again to keep the, the real estate the screen space looking clean bearing in mind we're going for a youth sort of market we don't want to make it too sort of busy um, I did put, add that perhaps just a link to the deviate live website would also might might do instead you know it wouldn't be as intrusive anyway that's a sort of minor sort of comment um, watermarking this is something he's put up there this is Tom again that maybe he's highlighting the fact that perhaps this is a little bit trickier than we'd have thought and um, I know it can be tricky to watermark feature and that um, I think it would take longer to implement than being worth it so he's put this on to, the, to do in the future as he doesn't think there's enough time for the deadline which I've said fair enough I think it's a detail that's maybe not necessarily needed to be included in what we need to achieve, which is a working beta version. Um, so we can deal with that at a later date. So I'm sort of agreeing there, really. I think it's true. We need to task on Friday we is, to, is to see that we can actually upload, you know, take what we've done on our local server, the uh, MEMP server, and check that we are able to upload with the cPanel or the file transfer program that the host provider provides um, and check that it's all going to go smoothly it's much better to get something up there and find out that it's, it's working or if it doesn't work know ahead of time that it doesn't rather than mess around with details about watermarking at this stage so I hope that's been of use and I would urge the reason I've sort of done this is to urge those that aren't taking part or contributing to um, uh, contribute more. By the way, over here is the, is everyone who's linked into this DV8 Live project page. I perhaps should have said this at the beginning, but uh, there you go. Um, yeah, and down here, in a way, it follows the, the 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 format from something like Facebook, where you're getting an activity page of what's going on. Um, and I'd like, in a way, I'm thinking of perhaps we could use this for some, some of the tracking, some of the uh, assessment work uh, on the units. I thought this could be quite a good, useful way of feeding back. Because that way you can all look at how everyone else is getting on and then if there's a common query or question that you have, almost like frequently asked questions, you could sort of see from that what, um, you know, what, my, what my response would be as an assessor or any, for any advice you needed um, so perhaps we will uh, set up another project oops easy and uh, call this one um, you know unit 302 or certificate assessment a certificate being the Friday sessions that we do okay thank you for your time
That was 9 minutes, 59, 10 seconds exactly. Stopping. Capture. Now, cut.